at some point in time, though, with, uh, were, were, were we talking about um, smog? We, we did talk about air quality. No, I mean, we were talking about the cadavers. At my That's job. right. We were talking about the cadavers. And I, uh, that uh, they often have dark lungs, and it's not from smoking. It's from just living in an urban environment. And we were saying, well, oh, yeah, I wonder what they'd look like if they came from L.A. I'm afterthought lung. I'm leeward lung. And, and we're LA, LA lungs. lungs. Eventually, I basically just kind of forced her into playing music with me. Um, she didn't really have much of a background in it no. so much. Um, and we had a, that was kind of around the time when all the DIY labels were springing up and, you know, kind of the idea of just being able to put out 50 CDs and call it good kind of struck a nerve with me as far as just like, you know, fuck it. You don't have to, you know, you can, they can edit it. <laughs> what um, did you say? I, I said the F word. And Lori oh, all up and fuck. About me saying the F word. Yeah, you're more than Say that. fuck all you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. started playing out yet we went to a show at the sunset that was uh was it uh richard bishop likens um that wasn't the david thomas show uh cloudland canyon and acre and there was like 10 15 people there and we were, our minds were kind of blown because you know how you do that like somebody who's a little bit more obscure they're like I was like, Richard Bishop, why is there only 15 people at this Richard Bishop Likens show? But alas, there is. But, but, but it was, you know, it was this like real meaningful experience for at least me and her. And that was kind of our motivation to say, okay, well, maybe we should start playing. I mean, who cares if there's only 15, 20 people there? If everybody's locked in and it's something that they take with them and it lasts for a while and... Who knows, maybe they're, they're in the same position that we are, and they say, fuck it, we're going to start playing live, you know. That's pretty cool, and I, I think that's what made us kind of jump into it. There's a, a, I think there's a good sense of community yeah. amongst the various people that we've interacted with throughout the whole time we've been playing. Yeah, yeah, and that's what that's, I mean, that's that's always of equal excitement to us wherever we go play is that we know we're going to be around people that we might have not seen in a while, and, and, you know, that's kind of the whole, you know, kind of the whole point of doing it, too. <laughs> It was going to be. We get ready for a live set, and that creates whatever we create. Because we don't, we don't get together and practice on a regular basis. It's basically we get ready for a show, and then that will eventually get translated into a recording. It's based off of a photo of my mom standing on the beach with my two older sisters back in the probably the seventies, and uh, yeah, and this was. This this canvas is like someone stretched felt over like a diaper box. So it's um, found the, that at a thrift store. So and then this one, people often think that one of these characters. This is me and Nathan, but no, it's my two sisters, <laughs> Nicola and Lisa. And this was at Christmas time, and Lisa had got a Walkman, and Nicola got some kind of. 80s style computer toy type thing and they were sitting on the couch together Lisa made some face. But people always think that it's you and Nathan. Yeah, yeah. When they're not thinking that we're like siblings. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
that's the thing to look forward to. I'm not just saying it because we're talking to you, but I mean, honestly, last year when we were getting ready, we were like, this is it. This is, you know, it always feels like, because we, we know we're playing with amazing bands, it's, it, it's just fun to watch, mm -hmm. but but playing it, there's a certain energy that, and I, I think it's the people there and, and the mix of bands. It's always, we've always had an amazing time. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it's 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 always just been, you know, it's been a big family. It's the community that I feel, I definitely think we we feel most comfortable with, and and, and Seattle's such a great city for this kind of thing, and, and I don't think it's ever really going to go away. 